Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to run your Flask application on your AWS EC2 instances. All right. So for this one, whatever the required commands and the instructions, I've documented it and I've uh, you know uh, shared. I will be sharing the link to that in the description box below, so you can watch out for that in the description. All right. So for this one, what I've done is I've already created an EC2 instance, an Ubuntu EC2 instance. So in my AWS account. So before creating an EC2 instance, so you would need to test this application on your local environment or your local system. Okay. So if it works correctly as expected, only then go ahead and deploy it in your cloud environment. Okay. So this is just a simple hello world application okay a flask application so these kind of app uh, series that i'm uh, you know explaining node.js uh, we have uh, django this is flask so these are required to test your application on your cloud environment so we are doing that all right so let's get started so if you see my aws console this is my aws console and we have one ec2 instances that is running with the name flask application okay so let me connect to that ec2 instance if you see the username is ubuntu that means i'm a i'm using ubuntu system and i'm able to log into this uh, system right now so it is establishing a connection so i am using ec2 instance connect method where you will be able to log into that machine using your browser itself okay so let us look through the security group of this um, you know ec2 instance so this is the security group that i have attached i am allowing port 22 that is ssh i'm also allowing 443 https and 80 http okay so we are good right so now let me go back here uh, now i'm in my ec2 instance okay so let me clear my screen first okay so this is my instance so let me zoom in a bit so that it will be more clearly visible okay so first things first after you log in it is always recommended to update the system so i'll just copy this one and i'll paste it here so let me take this forward here okay so let me paste this one so sudo apt get update it is going to update your current system okay so later on next command i'll explain so we are installing virtual environment for python so it is always recommended to use virtual environment if you do not want to use it that is also fine but we use virtual environment in case if there are many applications okay so if you want to test all of them so it is better to create your own virtual environment to test every application right so that is why we go with virtual environment so i'm going to install that first okay so after this is done let me clear the screen again so let me run the command to install the virtual environment sudo apt get install python 3 hyphen v e n v virtual environment okay so it is going to ask me for the confirmation so i'll just say yes and it will go ahead and install it all right so let's look at the next command right so first we need to activate the virtual environment that that we just created okay or just in uh, installed so for that let me create a directory called hello world to create directory you just need to type in make mkdir hello world make directory hello world okay so let me go back to my instance here let me hit enter and this will be done so let me clear the screen again and let me run this command mkdir hello world and let me get into that directory by typing cd hello world okay now in i'm inside my hello world directory okay so let's see what is the next command that we need to run so first we need to create the virtual environment let me copy that command and paste it here so this is going to create your virtual environment for python okay so let's see what is the next command so we need to activate the environment that we just created okay source venv slash bin slash activate okay so if you see this created the virtual environment now let me activate the environment okay so i'll hit enter now if you see before we did not have this venv uh, this indicates that we are inside the virtual environment right now 
okay so let's see what is the next command so as this is a flask application we need to first install flask right so let me copy that and i'll paste it here okay i'll hit enter okay so it successfully downloaded flask application or flask dependency all right so let me clear my screen again and we need to create a simple or a sample flask api hello world api okay so for that i need to create an application uh, with a name i'll just say app.py okay so that is the application name that i'm giving or the file name that i'm giving so let me copy this one okay so i've made it everything uh, you know documented just because you can directly go there and copy and paste it okay so i'll hit enter so we are inside this uh, file right now let me go to insert mode by kicking clicking on i right now if you see i'm in my insert mode let me copy this code so this is the code that we need to paste in okay so let me copy that and i'll paste it here so this is the application code that just returns hello world okay so let me save this by clicking on escape colon sorry what it does okay so escape colon wq exclamation and hit enter okay so that uh, you know created or sorry we just copied the application code into that particular file so let us verify if it is correct so i'll just say cat app.py if you see the code that we copy pasted it is present all right so next we need to verify if the app is running fine so how to verify we just need to run app python app.py right so let me copy that command and i'll just paste it make sure you are in the right directory all right so it is showing an error uh, so add this app.py so that is not required actually so let me remove that file by opening that file again i'll go to insert mode again okay so let me go up okay think uh, where is that okay so i think uh, this file is uh, corrupted because i'm not able to insert anything so let me do one thing i'll just say sudo uh, rm app dot py okay so i'll remove that file i'll just recreate it once again and i'll paste that code without adding anything okay so let's uh, i'll just copy these things okay so let me copy that without uh, adding this one and i'll paste it here okay let me go to insert mode again and i'll just paste that code okay so we are done let me hit escape colon wq exclamation and hit enter okay we are good now so let us run the uh, code now so the command to run is python app.py so if you see flask is running on this particular um, this this ip address means it is a local host and this 5000 is a port number okay so it is running on a local host now okay so uh, 5000 is a port number remember that but after verifying everything is working fine so now uh, the thing is so run geonicon wsgi server to serve the flask application when you run flask application right so you are actually running the development wsgi server so which forward request from a web server right so since it is only for development we have to use geonicon which is a production ready wsgi server to serve our application for that we need to install it first so this is the command to install it so let me copy that and i'll just uh, uh, hit control c and let me clear my screen once again control l and let me paste that command that i just copied so this is the command to download the geonicon okay so it will download it so if you see it has downloaded it okay so let me just run that geonicon so this is the command to run the geonicon so i'll just copy that and i'll paste it here okay so i have pasted that command now if you run it it will start working right so let us see what is the next command so after that is done we need to manage the geonicon systemd 
uh, which is a you know system d is a boot uh, manager for linux and we are using it to restart gunicon if the ec2 instance restarts or reboots for some reason so we'll have to take care or we ha will have to manage it right so also some information about the executables and commands all those things are necessary so for that sake we are going to use make use of systemd okay so uh, basically we we have this file so let us create this file so this is the file name that i'm giving hello world.service and inside this file we'll need to install these things okay so these things refer to uh, we have unit and we have service and we have install right so these are the three things that we need to add inside that file okay so first let me create this file okay i'll just copy it uh, i am not going to use nano editor i'm going to use vi editor so i'll just copy that uh, here and i'll just control c again so let me clear the screen okay so let me type in sudo sudo vi and i'll paste that path okay so it will open up a vi editor let me go to my insert mode again I'll just copy this one this entire thing so i'll use this copy icon and i'll paste that here okay so after this is done it has escape colon wq exclamation and it enter okay so that is done okay next we need to enable the service okay first we need to run these commands to enable it okay so let's copy all of them together we can paste it one by one or we can also run all of them together i'll run it all of them together all right so it is done now let me you know curl it so so that uh, if if we are getting the response or not let me check so if you see we are getting the response hello world right so that confirms that it is working fine okay so next let us run the nginx web server to accept the route request to uh, you know gunicon and finally we can set up the nginx as a reverse proxy to accept the request from the users and route it to the gunicon okay first for that we need to install you know nginx right so let me copy this one nginx so the co command to install nginx is sudo apt hyphen get install and nginx okay so be careful with the name of the nginx okay sorry it is a typo here so you'll just have to use apt get install okay not spt okay let me correct that one so it is apt sorry what did i just do okay let me open it again sorry for that and i'll make it a and hit enter okay so it will download it it will ask for the confirmation just hit enter okay so it will download the nginx so after nginx gets downloaded you need to start the nginx and enable it okay so let me copy this command you can run it one by one so let's see if it is done i'll hit enter okay so let me clear my screen let me run my first command that is to start nginx let me run the second con command that is to enable nginx okay so enabling nginx is letting the system know that you are using there is some application called nginx in your system okay so we will we'll have to edit this file sites available this is the default uh, uh, file that we have uh, after you install the nginx we'll have to update this sites available and and default okay so let me copy this and open it in a vi editor so sudo vi and we'll also have to paste the path okay so this is the path here if you read it clearly you need to add this following code below the default comments that we have so let me copy this first i'll show you where it needs to be added so these are the default comments right so we'll add it right after them okay so i'll go to insert mode and i'll hit enter here after coming here i'll let me hit enter and i'll just say okay what it is happening i'll just say um paste here so let me come down if you see this path that we had it is it has got added okay so i'll just go to my insert mode again okay so if you see here uh, next is to add this one in this location 
okay so i'll just copy this one go to your instance search for that you can either go line by line or you can also search for it okay so here if you see we have it okay so let me go over here okay let me hit enter and here i'll have to paste that code okay let me paste that code escape colon wq exclamation hit enter okay so now it is fine okay so next thing is to restart your nginx okay so let me write this command here okay so i'll just hit restart okay now your application is hosted okay how to check if you are able to reach it or not so for that you have to copy your public ip address okay let me copy my public ip address and paste it in the browser so if you see right now i am getting hello world right so this is a flask application which is working but this whatever we had installed nginx it is acting as a reverse proxy for our use case okay so i wanted this to work on your http port that is 80 so before it the application itself was running on 5000 port so what i've done is i'm using nginx as a reverse proxy for this application okay so this is how you can host your flask application on your ec2 instance all right so i hope you like the video so if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends until next time thank you and bye